what's happening. This is Crazy's first blog, which I had done. Hit up a wee bit. Hit in, hit in, right. It's my first blog. Should start off by saying I'm terrible or something. Should look at the camera. Should start off by saying thanks to Scott McKelvey. Yeah, MPVT, other people who inspired me to do this. What have I got to talk about? No, this is it. This is the first vlog. This is what it's going to be like all the time. Me just saying that. Um, um, so get used to that. Um, what else should I say? Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll copy Tam Hickey. It's Tam's one. My mate, my man. And he made a wee video. I'll put it at the bottom. Down here. Down there. Down there. Down there. Yeah, called Shoot for the Moon. And it was just all about going out, just film some. If you want to be a filmmaker, you want to make documentaries, you want to do anything, just get out there. Just film it. Just do it. The only thing holding you back is you. And honestly, nothing beats the, the feeling of just finishing something. Doesn't no matter if it's rubbish, it get good eventually. But honestly, just nothing beats that feeling of just finishing something, just getting uploaded. It's, just, it's a good feeling. Should probably thank We Are Northern Lights, the uh, Nick Higgins, the creative director, Colin Money, he's sound. Or the other editors who got named, but I don't know their names. They used a wee tiny bit of my time lapse footage on it, which I was chuffed about. Uh, my boy James Casey filmed me at one of their workshops, done a wee interview, but I'm glad they didn't use it because. Let's just say I'm glad they didn't use it, I wasn't looking. My eyes were a wee bit funny. Uh, but again, a wee thanks to Nick Higgins. Thanks to Colin Money, thanks to everybody involved in your Northern Lights. We are Northern Lights. It's, uh, it was brilliant. Really enjoyed the premiere. Fucking felt unbelievable being attached to something that like good, even though it's just a wee tiny bag on it. Seeing your name at the end of it, man, it's fucking oh, it's an unbeatable feeling. Uh, so that was amazing. And that's what probably led to this. That's what led to my first vlog. Maybe vlogging. Probably wouldn't be vlogging if it wasn't filming Beyond Northern Lights. Which is fucking really good seeing people putting up their opinions, just talking to the camera, just going for it. I'm fucking. I never thought I could do this. Talk directly to a camera, it's not really. It's, it's more nerve wracking to me than, than most things. But I should probably do it, try to get good at it. I just talk like I'm talking normal. Just hate my voice, man. I need to improve this voice. I need to sound like Robert Kaleo. Or James Cosmo. Somebody, I don't know, man. There's something a bit better. Um, this is one of the um, 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 bits again. There's got to be a lot of these. I need to get used to this. So, anyway, back to the point. Just go out. You want to film something, get out there. Get your camera. Doesn't matter if it's the camera on your phone. Everybody can be a filmmaker these days, man. Just get out there. Film whatever you want. We've got a story to tell you, tell it. If you've you see something you think I should film it, but you don't want it because you don't want people staring at you, just do it, just film it. Just go for it, man. Nothing's stopping you. And that's it really. And if you think I don't want to film something, I've got an editor or things like that, just get, oh, get Windows Live Movie Maker, man. Just use that. It's fucking simple. It takes like a day. And so anybody can be a filmmaker these days, man. It's brilliant. Well, I should probably thank Indiphone. It's an iPhone film festival. Me and my two pals, two legends, Mark Dodwell, David Murray. Be a film, I'm going to be like my wee De Niro and Keitel. Team up. I'll be like Scorsese or, I don't know man, I shouldn't say that. I'll be like, uh, 
I don't know man. I mean the Oka today today and we just can't go on. I don't know. Um But anyway, thanks to Data. We filmed a wee daft shot film using two iPhones and three freezing days. Film was it was alright, I don't think I think we all know we could do better. But for the first attempt, man, we did no bad, it turned out alright. I was happy. It looked alright. I think with an extra day we could have moved fixed ending. It kinda ended a wee bit abruptly. Like I showed it to my brother, he didn't have a clue what was happening. He said, like, What what happened? What happened at the end? So that's not a good sign. But uh it turned out decent man, I was surprised how good it looked for using iPhones and it's inspired me. Gonna make another one. Definitely. Gonna get it there. Gonna make another film. Hopefully next week. That's a plan. Um it's based on a I wrote I've wrote a few scripts and a lot of them are full with dialogue and stuff that you need mics, sound recording people and money to make. So I basically they took all the dialogue, all the Hard stuff where it made it like a right shot, condensed iPhone film, if that makes sense. Hopefully that turns out a wee bit decent. I've been trying to get used to new editing stuff. Hopefully get a bit better at it. Hopefully. Fuck. I should have shaved, you know. I should shave and start this again, man. This should not be uploaded. This is a fucking insult to vlogs everywhere, isn't it, man? Look at this. Me just look. What will they look? What will they look? It's fucking terrible. Right, um I anyway, so I'll keep uploading stuff. Keep doing wee time lapses, a wee hobby. And just to everybody, man, you wanna be an actor, make a Star Now account. Get on there. Fucking brilliant. Really excellent. Join a drama class, just do end man, you wanna film something, go out and film it. How workshop, there's lots of workshops for free, man. Go on the Glasgow Film Theatre website, there's always a lot of stuff happening there. That's decent. I missed a Gary Lewis Cooney, which I'm gutted about. He was Shanks for My Name Was Joe, that would have been good to see. And the uh, Orphans. Open the door, Thomas! If you've not seen Orphans, eh. If you've not seen Orphans, I just look like a fucking psycho there. You're welcome. Um. But that's it, man. Just get out there, just get filming shit, alright? I think that's it. I think the only thing that'd be right to end on is like an awkward pause, right? So it's gonna be like an awkward sense of. Yeah.